Today's video is not going to be a video talking about ways to save money so you can come up with an extra thousand a month to put towards your mortgage. There are a ton of videos out there for that. Today, I'm going to talk to you about creating an actual plan to pay off your mortgage early. A quick word of warning. This video might challenge some of the ideas that you have already about paying off your mortgage. I ask that you withhold judgment and listen with an open mind until you hear me out. Okay, I've been doing this for 17 years. I know a thing or two about mortgage debt. I know a thing or two about financial literacy. I want to begin by reminding everybody that if you're thinking about paying off your mortgage early, you should first pay off any consumer debt. You don't want to worry about paying extra towards your mortgage if you still have credit card debts, car payments, or student loans. Since your home is an appreciating asset, carrying mortgage debt is a little different than consumer debt or depreciating debt like a car. You also want to make sure that you have adequate savings and an adequate savings plan for things like an emergency fund, upcoming college education, retirement, Maybe you've got kids that are going to get married at some point. Sometimes people get so focused on the fact that their mortgage is a debt that they want to pay it off when they don't adequately have a plan for some of these other things in life. And I'll talk a little bit more about that when I give you my biggest tip on paying off your mortgage early. Step one, make a clear plan. It might sound like a no brainer, but most people skip this part, proceed blindly And guess what? They make a lot of mistakes along the way. When making a plan to repay your mortgage early, you first want to familiarize yourself with the rules of the game. What does that mean? Call your mortgage company. Speak with your lender. Find out and be sure what the terms of your loan are. Specifically, find out if your loan has a prepayment penalty. They're not common, but they do exist. This would be a fee for paying your loan off early. Federal law prohibits prepayment penalties for many types of home loans like VA, FHA, USDA, which is also known as RD, as well as for mortgages issued after 2014. These fees are limited to the first three years of loan, and after that, you're free to pay it off without full penalty. Again, it's not common, but it does exist. Make sure you know what you're dealing with. The next thing you want to ask your lender is whether or not they allow you to make additional payments. If so, how often? Is there a particular way the payments need to be made to ensure that the payment goes to principal? Remember, It's in the lender's interest that you do not pay off your loan early because the more interest that they make over the life of the loan, it's more money they make. This is why there are sometimes restrictions on how and when you can make additional payments. It seems shocking, but supposedly a mortgage company actually does not start making money off your mortgage until you've had it at least five years. They want you to keep it long term because they want to make money on their money. They want to make money on their investment. This information will and should also be in your loan document. So you can find that information there if you prefer not to call, regardless of how you get it. Understand, please, what your lender will allow, what may cost you extra when you're making that plan to pay off the mortgage early. All this information took a long time to put together. So I'd really appreciate if you'd hit the like button and support the growth of my channel. Thank you for doing that. Next, let's discuss how to make a smart plan that will pay off your mortgage early and save you money in the process. We'll start with one of the more common ones, and this is known as the biweekly payment method. Have you heard of this strategy before? For those who haven't, let me quickly break it down. Most people pay their mortgage monthly, and most people get paid every two weeks. If you take your monthly mortgage payment, divide it in half, and pay that amount every two weeks, you end up making the equivalent of 13 monthly payments a year instead of 12. That results in paying off your loan early and saving thousands of dollars in interest. Let's look at an example. And I'll drop a link in the description for an easy to use online calculator where you can enter your loan terms and find out how this plan can work for you. Let's say you have a loan and the loan amount is $250,000, a 20 year term and a 3% interest rate. The normal payment, and remember this is just principal and interest I'm talking about, I'm not talking escrows. That's $1,386 a month. Divide that in half, pay $6.93 every two weeks. Just following that plan alone, you would pay off your mortgage two years early and save $9,317 in interest. That's a lot of money. Is this biweekly method what I would choose to pay off my mortgage early? Actually, probably not. But I want to give you all the options I can think of here. It will definitely save you money over the life of your loan. We just saw that. It will definitely shave off some time. We just saw that as well. And if you're someone who wants to work this into their budget, set up automatic payments and then forget about it so you know it's working, saving you money in the background and it could be a good option for you. 
before you do this, make sure, this is what I always say, if you're going to switch to biweekly, what I need you to do is to please make a payment and then switch to biweekly. That way you're a payment ahead. This will keep from confusing the lender and them thinking you're sending a partial payment because you're paid ahead. All right. Let's talk about the next method for paying off your mortgage early, which to me is a better option. And that's making extra payments towards your principal. So mortgages work on an amortization schedule where your monthly payment covers both interest charged and the principal balance or the amount you borrowed that you're paying back. When you first start paying on a mortgage, most of the monthly payment goes toward interest and a little toward principal. It's very interest heavy in the beginning. But over time as you pay, they switch. So at the end of the mortgage, most of the payment is principal and interest is the smaller portion. This is because you're paying interest based on the principal amount that's outstanding each and every month. If you do the biweekly payment option we just discussed, for each extra payment you make, the bank will put some of that towards the principal and some of that towards the interest. However, if you continue to make your monthly mortgage payment as agreed upon in your loan terms, you can choose to make additional payments that you specify to the bank, to your lender, that are going towards principal only. Remember, when we talked about how you need to understand the terms of your loan, right? The rules of the game, here's where that comes into play. Based on the agreement you have with your lender, find out if you can make these additional payments monthly, quarterly, or yearly, depending upon your goals and your flexibility, and what you need to do when making that payment to communicate that it is principal. It is not interest. It is not escrow. Let's talk about what a difference this can make. You can find mortgage calculators online that will show you how making extra payments will save you money and reduce payment time. I'll put a link in the description below. Let's use the same terms above. Bi-weekly payments, $250,000 loan amount, 20-year term, 3% interest. Remember, we talked about that. The payment for principal and interest was $1,386. Now, instead of bi-weekly, what if we say we pay an extra $200 every month exclusively to principal? $200. By making that payment, the loan will be paid off in 16 years and nine months. That's three years and three months early. Remember, earlier, we were knocking off two years. That saves you $14,558 in interest. That's a lot better than a little over $9,000, would not you say? Next, have you ever heard of recasting your mortgage? Most people have heard of refinancing, but not recasting. As you probably already know, refinancing is done. When you want to apply for a new loan, start your term over, maybe you're taking out equity, maybe you're just doing a rate and term refinance, but you're looking for a shorter term, you're looking for a better rate. If you qualify for a better monthly payment or a better mortgage rate, then refinancing could be a viable tool for paying off your mortgage early. There are fees associated with this you want to consider consider often ranging between 2 and 6% of your loan. While on the other hand, recasting your mortgage is when you pay a lump sum toward the principal, then the loan is recalculated based on your current loan and loan terms. So your interest rate and terms stay the same, but the lower principal means a lower monthly payment by recasting it, which saves you interest paid over the life of the loan. There's usually a small fee with this option, sometimes not even a fee but it's significantly less in either instance than refinancing. And the process is much easier because you're not applying for a new loan. See, recasting is a great option if you come into a sum of money, like an inheritance, a signing bonus, a sale of another property, maybe your tax refund every year. Now, not all lenders offer to recast. Most of them do, but not all. Notes that are backed by FHA and VA typically are not eligible for recasting. Now, you might be thinking, okay, recasting sounds great if I'm looking to save interest and reduce my monthly payments, but how does that help me pay off my loan early? That leads me to my biggest tip for paying off your mortgage early. Don't pay extra towards your mortgage. Say what? I'm gonna say it again. Don't pay extra towards your mortgage. You're probably thinking, Stephanie, what did you just say? Did you forget this video is about paying off your mortgage early? Just hear me out. I promise this will make sense in a minute. Let's imagine we have a homeowner. Let's call her Avery. She buys a house for $250, 3% interest for 20 years. Avery's smart. She's paid off all her consumer debt and she saved an emergency fund for six months of expenses and she's even started saving for retirement. But after all of that, she's been putting all her extra money toward paying off her mortgage early, trying to become mortgage free. Let's say she's been doing this by making an extra 500 bucks principal payments per month. That's a lot of money. 
This plan would save her $28,711 in interest over the life of the loan and pay her mortgage six and a half years early. That sounds great, right? Especially to the two comparisons we spoke about earlier. Well, let's say 10 years in, Avery has a terrible accident. She's been paying extra 500 bucks, remember, a month. So her mortgage is down and her balance is only 50 grand. That sounds great so far, right? But this terrible accident causes her to lose her income, spend her six months of savings, and still have medical bills piling up. If things are really dire and she finds herself unable to make the mortgage payment, her bank is actually incentivized to pursue foreclosure because of the high amount of equity, which means they're going to sell the home and easily recoup their full outstanding amount and then some. This is not a good spot to be in. We were talking about a worst case scenario. We are talking about a worst case scenario, right? But the point is that she's been taking her extra money and giving it to the bank to pay down that mortgage. Now, when something unforeseen happens, she doesn't have money when she needs it the most. It's all tied up in her home. As a lender, I've seen this so many times. You have no idea. Now, again, you're probably thinking, Steph, I clicked this video for you to tell me how to pay off my mortgage early. Are you seriously trying to talk me out of it? No, 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 I'm not. I'm actually one of those rare lenders, remember, thrilled when their clients paid off their mortgage early. I'm telling you this story because I want you to be smart about it. There's more than one way to accomplish your goal. If your goal is to pay off the mortgage early, paying any extra money you can seems like the smart move, but you have other options. One option is to pay your monthly mortgage payment as agreed by your loan terms, right? And take any extra money and invest it in a way that will grow. Then you can use that investment to pay off your mortgage early. Let's say instead of making that $500 a month extra mortgage payment, Avery put $500 into an S&P index fund. Granted, the return of these funds fluctuate, but most investment resources will agree. There's an average of a 10% annual return over time. Talked about that in another video. This is a higher annual return than the interest on our mortgage, which is great. Most importantly, along the way she's investing, growing the amount she can use to pay off her mortgage. Also, if something were to happen, she has access to those funds and can use them as needed. By maintaining control of your money instead of giving it to the bank, you're lowering your risk if something were to happen. This also allows you to take advantage of tax incentives for the interest rate on your mortgage as you work to pay it off. Now, remember how I talked about recasting your mortgage and I told you it could be a tool for paying your mortgage off early. Let me tell you how. Recasting your mortgage can be a tool if you want to use the combined approach to paying off your mortgage early. What this means is that you can take your extra money each month, each quarter, each year, put it into an investment fund. But instead of waiting till you have enough money to write the check and pay the mortgage in full, pull out a chunk along the way. Pay toward the principal. Ask for the recast. Recasting your loan will also lower your monthly payment, which can increase the amount you're investing each month to work towards that ultimate goal of paying your mortgage off early. On the other hand, if you're considering a refinance as a possible avenue, be sure to check out my refinance tips for success, where I explain the most common mistakes people make when refinancing their home and give my best tips for saving money in the process. I will continue to release videos with mortgage advice each week. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to catch the next one. Click this link to watch the video and I will see you there.